Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and I know some of you guys who may or may not know about me I made Vegas Pro tutorial on this YouTube channel Now as far as I know, there is no any physical hardware that is tailor-made for Vegas Pro Unlike Blackmagic, they do make several kinds of hardware that is work with their editing program called DaVinci Resolve I do have one of their hardware which is the uh, Blackmagic Speed Editor Keyboard which work with the DaVinci Resolve 17 because I bought the Resolve Studio a couple months ago. In this video, I do have one editing console that is actually work with Vegas Pro. So for those who use Vegas Pro, you can consider of buying one of this device called the Tourbox Neo. So you can basically map all of Vegas Pro shortcut keys on this small little guy over here. So the idea behind this Tourbox Neo is to basically increase your editing speed or to enhance your editing experience. Now I know there's tons of reviews videos about the Tourbox Neo, but most of the reviews video I've seen online are associated with Adobe products like Photoshop or Premiere Pro. So in this video, I'll be talking about the Tourbox Neo with Vegas Pro software. So I'm gonna show you guys later on this video how you can map Vegas Pro shortcut keys with this little console here. So if you ever buy the Torbox Neo, what you get in the box are basically the instruction manuals, the editing console itself, and a braided Type-C cable. Now the physical appearance of the Torbox Neo remind me of a gaming controller, and the finishing of the Torbox Neo looks very premium. It's a rubberized plastic kind of material. However, with this kind of finishing, it does have a, a little bit of major drawback in my opinion because after using it quite some times, it leaves all of my fingerprint marks all over this editing console. So you may need to clean it once in a while after using it, okay? So that's the only major drawbacks on the finishing for this editing console. So now all you have to do is just plug this Torbox Neo to your computer and make sure you download their software from their website and I'm going to show you guys how you can map Vegas Pro uh, shortcut keys to the Torbox Neo. So let's jump into the computer. All right, so this is the Torbox console software and this is the application that you're going to use to map the shortcut keys of the software that you're going to use onto the Torbox console. All right, so the Torbox console software that I'm currently running is version 3.0.1. It is the latest version at the moment which support a macro settings which is pretty cool and I'm going to show you guys in just a bit what you can do with the macro settings. Alright so now I'm going to show you uh, briefly explain to you guys the interface of the software. So on the left hand side here we have the preset list and this is where you create a preset for your uh, editing application. For example I'm going to make one for Vegas Pro so I'm going to make a Vegas Pro preset right over here. Okay. Now by default, Torbox will give you four uh, preset, which is Photoshop, Lightroom, and two for Premiere. Okay, so let's say if you use DaVinci or Vegas or any kind of application, you have to create a new preset on this preset list. And then on the preset settings here, this is where you assign the shortcut keys onto the buttons and knobs on the Torbox. Now if you over your mouse, you can see how it reflects back on the preview window here on the bottom left hand section here. Now even if I press the button, you can see how it reflects back onto the uh, uh, preset settings here. Okay, so now let's create a, a preset for Vegas Pro. I'm going to press this uh, button here, create a new preset. And this window here will, uh, will pop up, so I'm going to give it a name. A VP preset uh, oops press ok and now Torbox already created the preset uh, here for uh, Vegas however it doesn't yet assign or set to the applications so you want to make sure that Vegas Pro software is running in the background so that Torbox can detect the software Okay, and then what you're going to do is to press this no link here and basically find your application on this menu here. So RDC Vegas uh, right over here. I'm going to click on that, press OK, and it's already assigned Vegas Pro to the Torbox. So now you can start assigning the shortcut keys onto the preset settings over here.
Alright, so the things that I often do in Vegas is performing fast cut, which I'll fast cut either the left or the right portions, or I want my uh, playhead to move at a very finest control, like one frame at a time. Okay, so in order to perform that, I have to use the shortcut key combination on my keyboard. Okay, so let's uh, assign the fast cut shortcut onto the buttons here, which is button C1 and C2. Okay, so C1 gonna be fast cut the left portion, and C2 gonna be fast cut the right hand portion. So let's press C1. Okay, it will highlight the C1 over here in the software. You're gonna, you're gonna click on not set it here, and this uh, window here will pop up. Okay, this is the settings uh, menu where you're gonna assign the shortcut keys. Now under the general tab, this is the basic settings that you can apply, okay? As you can see, you have the option for control, alt, shift, window, and basically enter a shortcut key, let's say J, K, O, L, depending on the program you use and then also a mouse uh, key like left uh, mouse click right mouse click or middle or scroll okay you can you know have them combined as the general shortcut key or you can use the built-in functions here on the right hand side but i believe there will be more function here maybe because the one that i'm trying to assign does not have certain functions i'm pretty sure there's more which i'm going to show you guys in this a bit Okay, so now we're gonna have the fast cut on the uh, uh, left portion here. So that'll be Alt and open bracket. So we're gonna press Alt, okay? And then the uh, the shortcut key here will be open bracket, okay? Okay, once you assign both of the shortcut key here, okay? Uh, you're gonna give it a, a, a tag, give it a name, so I'm gonna type out fast cut left and press OK. And now we already assign a fast cut, which is Alt open bracket and C1 button. So let's give it a try here in the Vegas Pro timeline. And it works pretty amazing. Now let's do the same thing for the C2 buttons. Okay, Alt and open bracket. So let's give it a name. For this one here, fast cut right. Now, for example, let's say you have a typo or spelling error and you press OK. To fix back the tags here, you just go back to your preset list, you click on the hamburger icon and press edit tags. Okay, so now you can just rename this back, spell it right here, press save and just close this and it will just rename back your tags. Okay, so let's give it a try again. Fast cut, fast cut. Pretty cool, right? So um, I already make a preset actually for Vegas Pro beforehand. So let's import the preset that I've made. To import a preset, you're gonna press this import preset here. And this is the preset, I'm gonna press open. You're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna type it out, Vegas Pro, press OK. And of course, it, it haven't linked yet, so you have to link it again. And here is it, okay? This is all of the uh, presets I already assigned, and you can download this preset in the link down below, and you can use it on your Vegas Pro. So let's give it a try. Now, if I use the die, you can see how I can, you know, nicely move my play hit at the most at a frame at a time here okay and i can press here to open the color grading panel okay and press again to close and i can you know hold this and make a duplication of the media pretty cool and i can you know delete the file i mean delete the event if i want and i can add a new video track if i want okay and i can double press to paste it over here Sure, I double press on it. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. To undo, just press this button here, and everything was just a press away. Pretty cool. And then I can, you know, make a cut, all that fancy stuff, and I scrub through my timeline like so. I can move up and down maybe because I don't have enough video track. So I can move up and down. All of that is just nicely mapped 
onto the Torbox console here, which is pretty cool. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys what you can do with the macro settings, okay? So now I switch back to the previous preset that we have made beforehand, which haven't assigned anything yet. So I'm going to quickly assign this knob here with a simple uh, mouse scrolling here, okay? So if I assign that, uh, whatever movement I made, it should be, you know, presentable here in the timeline, okay? And um, let's uh, assign macro settings on the D tab here for color grading, okay? So let's say I want to open up color grading panel. I can press this button here instead, which is the press on this dial here. So to open up color uh, grading panel, the shortcut key, if I was not mistaken, was Alt G, okay? Press OK. Make sure you select the event, give it a press. Yep, it opened up the color grading panel. Okay, so let's say uh, with a press on the D tab key, you can control the lift or the gamma or the gain or even the offset exposure, which is the slider over here. Now I know if I over my mouse over the number here, I can control the value here. So what I can do is assign each of these button to where the mouse should be, okay, the cursor placement. All right, so let's just reset the grading panel here. So let's press the uh, D tab key, which is the down here. And I'm gonna open up uh, the settings here. And instead of using general, I'm gonna use the macro, okay? I'm gonna add a new macro, I'm gonna call it lift, okay? And we have action here, so we're gonna add an action. Now you have more options over here. We have the shortcut, like just now in the general. We have delay, you can delay the buttons here. We have mouse action. Now the mouse actions are a bit more than in the general one here because you have the mouse coordination here, okay? And you can open up some text or open up a certain file in your computer if you press any of this button, which you can perform all of this at once or at separate times which is a press. It can do multiple things at once, which is pretty cool. So in this case, I'm just gonna assign it to the leaf uh, exposure control here. So I'm gonna go to mouse actions, and I'm gonna press click to select a uh, coordinate point. So I'm gonna coordinate my mouse right over here. Press any button on the toolbox box, and you already save it right over here. Press OK, OK. And if we try to press here, and I use my now you can see how I controlling the exposure. So let's do the other thing for our next button here. Let's say this is for gamma. And if you try, this is gamma. This is, okay, you have the basic idea. Now, for example, let's say I want to add saturations. Okay, maybe with this button here, I'm gonna add saturation. Now saturation in grading panel, I have to go to input, and then I have to go to the saturation here. Now that's two click require. So you can add that in a macro. So for example, press this tall button, macro, add a new macro, give it a name, saturation, okay. And let's add an action. So the first action will be the mouse. So let's put it over here. Press OK and then we add another action. Okay, before that make sure we go to the input section. And then another action, again a mouse positions, which is over the saturations. Press OK and OK. So the tall button, so let's see if I press the tall button control the saturation. Now let's say if I want to go back to the color wheel, maybe I can assign this short button to color wheel. So press the short button here. Okay, let's try. Yeah, it works. Pretty cool. And I can control the exposure easily and then turning off my color grading panel with just press again. So that's the beauty of the macro control, which you can have multiple things assigned at a single press. Okay, so this is this is how you map the uh, shortcut keys uh, from Vegas Pro to the Torbox new editing console. All right, so in conclusion, does Torbox Neo increase my editing speed or improve my editing experience in general? 
Well, to be honest, I don't see any increasing of speed when editing with Turbox Neo. That's mainly because I've been editing with keyboard for the past six and seven years. So I already memorized and have sort of a memory muscle where the shortcut keys that I'm gonna use uh, with Vegas Pro on the keyboard. So when adapting to Turbox Neo, it's a bit awkward at first. So it's just a matter of time for me to get used to it, okay? So it's just all about memory muscle and adapting to something new. But I already see some uh, improvement in terms of editing experience. Like for example, if I ever do fast cut on the Vegas Pro timeline, I have to hold Alt and open bracket or close bracket to fast cut either left or right portion. Now that is just a click away on the Turbox Neo. So it already shortened or eliminates from my right hand to you know leave my mouse and press the bracket buttons on my keyboard okay so instead of using two hands to you know press the keyboard i can just a click away with my left hand on the turbox you know so that's already a <clears throat> improvement in terms of editing experience right there now the next thing i feel is this is something that turbox can improve via firmware updates first is the d type keys now the D-Tap key, I don't see any option to double press and do something. All I see is uh, one press and do a certain things that you assign for it. Or you have sort of a com key combination like D-Tap keys with the tall or short keys and stuff like that. So it's like you holding control shift on your keyboard. I wish you can double press this so yeah, it adds double uh, commands on the D-Tap keys because the D-Tap keys actually can do more than just a single press or com combine with other uh, keys around the console, okay? So if you ever consider buying this Turbox Neo, you can buy in the link down below and this little guy here will cost you 169 US dollar. However, if you use my promo code DATO, you should get $10 off when you check it out. So I hope you guys like this video and until next time, bye-bye.